Hello and welcome to the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers Virtual College Fair. We're so happy that you're joining us today and taking the time to learn about some great schools. I have a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. You can direct your questions to a specific school or schools by including their name in your question, or you can leave a question for all of our representatives to answer about their programs. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. That's why that Q&A button is so important because that's your best way to ask questions. This is just one of many different sessions that are happening, so be sure to sign up for, different, for more sessions. We hope you'll be excited to learn about more schools uh, today. And this presentation, like all presentations, are being recorded. So you'll be able to find them at the exact same place where you registered. So in about a week's time, if you go to strivescan.com slash Carolinas, you'll be able to find those recordings. And remember, if you go to strivescan.com slash Carolinas today, you can sign up for more sessions as a part of this program. All right, well, I am really excited to welcome our very first school that's gonna kick us off today. We're going to be hearing from Fort Valley State University. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Jemiah Cox and I am going to share my screen. All right, here we go. So everybody, welcome to Fort Valley State University. We are the number one public HBCU in the state of Georgia. My name is Jemiah Cox and I am the Regional Enrollment Coordinator for Fort Valley State University. Now we do like to say that FESU is the best of both worlds. And what we mean by that is that Fort Valley State University is really able to combine that personal attention and family feel of a small private college, with also the resources and research that you do find at large public universities. So for example, last year, our student enrollment was 3000 students. So that means that our classroom sizes model what your high school classroom sizes look like right now. So you're able to get the one on one support in the classroom to really help you reach your goals. Now, though we are a small university, we do have the second largest campus in terms of acreage in the state of Georgia. So that means that our academic facilities, our residence halls, our research spaces and athletic venues mirror those of much larger universities. Now, we are at the heart of Georgia in Fort Valley, GA. We are a small rural college town, but our students do appreciate it because it really allows you to transition from high school to college more smoothly. And it allows you to really bond with your fellow peers, faculty, and administrators. Now, though we are in that college rural town, we are still close enough to some of your major cities. We're about 15 minutes from Warner Robins, 25 minutes from Macon, two hours from Atlanta and Valdosta, and about an hour and a half from Columbus, Georgia. And guess what, freshmen? You can bring your cars to campus in freshman year. Now, just check out some of our most popular majors. We do like to say that we have majors from A to V, from accounting to visual and performing arts. So students, if you do see the major you're interested in, definitely let me know. I definitely want to tell you if we have that major or not. Now, we do have programs out there for our accelerated achievers. This includes, we offer the only four-year veterinarian technology program in the state of Georgia. We also offer prep programs for your MCATs and other graduate school exams, such as your LSATs, your GREs, and your GMATs. Our iHelp program is an amazing program for students who are interested in giving back to the surrounding Fort Valley and Peach County community. So if you are interested in community service, our iHelp program is going to be phenomenal. CETA is one of our most distinguished programs here at Fort Valley State University. This program allows you to earn not just one, but two degrees. So yes, students, you can earn two degrees in any STEM field of your choice. This is for my science, technology, engineering, and mathematics students. Now, you'll go to Fort Valley State University for your first three years, and then we'll send you to one of our five partner schools um, for the next two to three years, and you'll graduate with a bachelor's from both schools. Now, those five partner schools are Georgia Tech, Penn State, the University of Arkansas, the University of Nevada at Las Vegas, and the University of Texas at Austin. 
Now we do have other things out there for our accelerated achievers. These are our scholarships. Now we offer the Presidential Excellence Scholarship, which is a $4,000 renewable scholarship per year with a $1,000 book stipend and up to $1,000 for study abroad. Students will also receive faculty and staff mentorship and all of the requirements are listed on the screen. We also offer our 1890 land grant scholarship. These are, this is for students who have above a 3.0. Now for students who have a 3.0 to a 3.5, you'll receive $6,132 for the next uh, academic year for the next four years. And for those who have above a 3.5, you'll receive $8,120 per academic year for the next four years. You'll also receive faculty and staff mentorship, research experience, and a guaranteed job with the USDA once you graduate. And also those requirements are listed on the screen. Now, just check out some of our most, um, our student apartments on campus. Now students, when you come to Fort Valley, know that you are going to be living nice. We offer student apartment suites. There are four people to an apartment. Each person will share their, have their own room. You'll share a bathroom with one other person. It comes with a kitchenette and living room area and they all come equipped with Wi-Fi, cable, AC and heating. Now, with over 60 plus clubs and organizations, students, there is so much for you to get involved in. We hold uh, one of the top 10 HBCU marching bands in the nation, our Blue Machine Marching Band, the entire Divine Nine, so your sororities and fraternities on campus, our honors program, Blue Coat Student Ambassadors, and so much more. And students, if there's not a club on campus specifically for you, know that you can always start your own club. Now we are home to your 2017 SIAC football division two champions, but we also home other division two athletics. This includes men's and women's basketball, men's and women's cross country, men's and women's track and field, men's and women's tennis, softball, men's and women's volleyball and co-ed chair. And students, you can receive a scholarship for all of our athletics offered at Fort Valley State University. Now, to the heart of this, our admissions requirements. Now, due to COVID-19, we are test optional for the admission season of 2021. Students, if you meet a minimum high school GPA of a 2.4, when we calculate that from the standard CPC course guide, as you see on the screen, that's for English credits, for math credits, for science credits, three social science credits, and two foreign language credits of the same language. If you meet that requirement, then you can apply to us with just your transcript. If not, then you must apply by our standard requirements with a minimum high school GPA of a 2.25, and then you'll submit to us SAT or ACT scores. Applying to Fort Valley, super simple. Visit fesu.edu or take your phone and hover right over that QR code and you'll be able to apply to Fort Valley. Once again, my name is Jemiah Cox. Thank you so much for coming to learn about our great universities. This is my contact information and I hope that you will all reach out. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your evening. Thank you so much, Jemiah, for sharing Fort Valley State University with everyone tonight. All right, we're on to our next school, school number two. We're gonna be hearing from North Carolina A&T State University. Good evening, everyone. My name is Nakia Bradford. I serve as the Senior Assistant Director of Freshman Admissions here at North Carolina a and State University. I bring you greetings on behalf of our Chancellor, Harold L. Martin Sr., as well as our Director, Jamia Tenney. Going to begin with some campus history. Looks like my slides are just loading here. There we go. All right, we were founded on March 9th, 1891 as a land grant university. Here, we shot that from the mountaintops. Um, we were um, created so that we can um, instruct our students in the disciplines such as horticulture, agriculture, and that's actually what puts the A within A and T. Um, fun fact about us, we actually started on uh, another fellow HBCU uh, campus, which is Shaw University, um, with four teachers and 37 students. So for those of you who do not know know, and HBCU stands for Historically Black College or University, um, and we welcome all backgrounds, all ethnicities, all races. We all um, lift one another up on our campuses here, so just know we welcome all. 
we are a STEM focused institution. So for those of you who may not know, that stands for science, technology, engineering, mathematics. However, we are not a STEM exclusive institution. So for example, if you would like to study within the liberal arts, you totally can do that here at A&T. You may be wondering, Ms. Bradford, what is a doctoral research institution? Multiple classifications out there in research, um, one of them being the Carnegie Research Classification. Ours would be R2. So simply put, we are considered a high research activity institution. Um, some examples in which our Aggies are conducting research in would include artificial intelligence. Uh, we recently received an $8 million grant from NASA um, so that we can create vehicles that will hover and take flight soon in efforts to mitigate traffic congestion here with our vehicles on land, um, things of that nature. So as you can tell, we are doing great works here in Aggieland. In 2019, we earned a few accolades. We are considered the most affordable campus in the state of North Carolina. We are the largest HBCU in the nation. So if I can get some Aggie pride chants at home, that would be amazing. Just over 12,700 students. So we are considered a medium-sized institution, also encompassing our graduate students as well. So if you're looking to entail uh, or um, um, attain, excuse me, um, a master's or a doctoral degree. You could totally do that here at a &T. We are located in Greensboro, North Carolina, which is the third largest city in the state. And we're not far from major cities such as Raleigh, which is our capital, and Charlotte, um, North Carolina, if you would like to watch the Charlotte Hornets. Um, we've got seven different academic areas here at ANT. Of course, we have a 500 acre um, acre research farm, research, excuse me, research farm for our agriculture majors, as well as our agribusiness majors. And um, we offer animal science as well as criminal justice under our College of Arts, Humanities and social science. Um, and we are definitely ranked um, 23rd in the nation for supply and chain management, number one producer in America for students, um, African American students attaining their Bachelor of Science in Engineering. And our most popular discipline this past year was mechanical engineering. And we do even offer an aerospace option. Uh, we also have nursing I'm going to highlight. Um, they pass their NCLEX exams their first time, 98% of the time. So true trust to true testament to the rigor and curriculum um, that our students are completing here. We are an NCAA Division One institution currently competing in the MEAC conference, offering football, basketball, um, softball, baseball, cross country, um, even bowling, tennis, and golf. Um, organizations would include, um, excuse me, our student organizations would include uh, Greek Life. We have a nationally ranked band, the Blue and Gold Marching Machine, um, Majorettes, the Golden Delights, um, Leadership Opportunities. We, we are known um, to have the greatest homecoming on earth with campus tradition. So I'll come about, uh, talk about that a little later. Um, and housing, we do not require our students to stay on campus. However, we, we uh, guarantee housing for all of our new freshmen out there. So we are operating off a hybrid model here at a and um, Feel free to take a picture of this slide as we do um, expect our students to have this reflected on, our trans, uh, on their transcript to be considered um, for admissions. And we look for our students to compete with our current average average of a 3.6. Um, we ask that you submit your FAFSA by December 1st for, uh, to meet our priority deadline so that you can maximize your opportunity for, um, for aid. And the way you will want to apply, apply is utilizing our in-house application on our website, ncat.edu, common app. We do have a $60 application fee. However, we accept fee waivers from College Board, NACAC, as well as ACT. And when it comes to fee waivers and personal essays, they are not required or reviewed during our admissions process. We want you to understand that we are definitely here for you guys. Uh, feel free to give us a call. We have Zoom lobbies available from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. so that we can assist you virtually. Um, no appointment is necessary. And again, my name is Nakia Bradford. Should you need anything, my contact information is listed on the slide below. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope you all continue to be safe. And as always, Aggie Pride. Thank you so much, Nakia, for presenting on North Carolina State. North Carolina A&T State University. Got to get that out there for all those Aggies. All right, so we are now two schools down, four to go. Um, I'm seeing some questions coming in the Q&A, and I love that participants, attendees, please keep um, submitting those Q&A questions for all of our representatives to answer. And check that chat for contact information as well. All right, we're moving on to Mayland Community College next.
Frank, I see you and share is almost ready. Um, if you can go to display settings on your screen yes. at the top and just flip that to screen sharing. Um, up at the top, it, there you should be able to hopefully seeing a display settings button. I do. Um, uh, it says you are screen sharing. Okay. Um, let's see. It's on the presenter mode right now is what we're seeing. So um, I'm trying to think best how to describe to you where to reverse it. So um, on the, there should be a, a bar that's not the screen share um, button, or if you'd like to unscreen share for a minute, maybe you can reverse that, check it on your side first. Sorry about that. That's okay. It actually happens like once almost every session that I wait, so. Okay. We're still on the presenter mode. Um, on the presenter mode, it's a it's a black screen with a square. There's a display settings towards the top. It says show taskbar display settings with a down arrow and then end slideshow. If you can get to that display settings drop down, um, it'll give us a chance to flip the view. Oh, this might work too. If you click from beginning or the presenter mode, yes, that might. Oh. That's we can still go on this view if you'd like, or if you'd like, I could ask our next school to pop up if Emery Riddle will be ready to go if you'd like, so we can, um, so you can present in this mode, or I can ask another school to go next and we can work on this behind the scenes. What would you like? I can go ahead and present with, okay. are, are you, okay, we're not seeing the. We can't, we're not seeing your comments, but we can see the screen. They may, okay, go ahead to the next presenter, let us work on this, and we can do, be the next one if that's okay. Okay. That sounds Sorry great. That. That's all right. Hi, Embry Riddle, would you mind? Are you able to get started? Thank you so much. Oh, perfect. Yes, not a problem. Thank you so much. Awesome. So hello, everyone. My name is Ludine Lewis. Um, I am the Regional Assistant Director here at Embry Riddle Aeronautical University, and I'm really excited to tell you a little bit more about us here at Embry Riddle. And um, one really fun fact about the university is that we actually have three campuses. So when you see Embry Riddle, you will often see Embry Riddle, Florida, Arizona, worldwide. And that is because we have three different opportunities for students, depending on where you'd like to get your Embry Riddle degree. Our Florida campus is the oldest of the residential campuses, and we were moved to Daytona Beach, Florida in 1965 from Miami, Florida. And the Daytona Beach campus is the largest of the two residential campuses here at Embry-Riddle, and it does house um, our, our main flight line, which is on campus with about 75 aircraft here in Daytona Beach. It has our College of Engineering, our College of Arts and Sciences, um, our College of Aviation and our College of Business. And this is where we do have our first and only um, aerospace physiology program, which is our pre-med program here at Embry-Riddle. We are in a really great location. We are attached to the Daytona Beach International Airport right up the road from the Daytona Beach International Speedway, about five miles away from Daytona Beach, and about an hour each from both Kennedy Space Center and Orlando. So our students have a lot of opportunities, whether it's being an Imagineer or um, interning at NASA, there are some really great opportunities within our regional area. Over in Prescott, Arizona, um, our Prescott campus is the smaller of the two residential campuses with about 3,000 students. The Prescott, Arizona campus is about two hours north of Phoenix and four hours south of the Grand Canyon, and it does have the smaller flight operations of the university, but it is where our, our um, rotary program is housed for students that are interested in being helicopter pilots, and it is where one of my favorite places, the planetarium, is housed as well. One really cool thing about the Prescott, Arizona campus is that they do have our College of Security and Intelligence. So if you're interested in cybersecurity or forensics, whether it's biology, psychology, or um, even accounting, we do have those at the Prescott campus. And then last up, our worldwide campus, as its name tells you, it is across the world. So we do have opportunities for students um, who are in Germany, who are in Singapore, um, but who also are in Atlanta or in Greensboro. North Carolina. Um, so 
the worldwide campus is our completely online campus for students to have that opportunity as well. Tangible experiences are huge here at the university and we do that by keeping our classrooms pretty small because we do project based and hands on learning here at the Daytona Beach campus we've got an average class size of about 27 even though we've got 7000 students and over at Prescott about 24 average class size against 3000 students so really small classes. 94% placement within one year of graduation. Um, so our students are entering their workforce so quickly um, and they're, they're in their degree program or they're continuing education in their degree program. So whether they're continuing on and getting their master's degree or a PhD or actually going to work, um, we have a lot of opportunities there. And then over 350 clubs and organizations here at Embry-Riddle, um, we let you fly the planes and we also let you jump out of them as our most popular club at Daytona Beach is skydiving. Um, and then over in Prescott, we do have hang gliding, but we do have some that are more academic as well. For a wider worldview, we have athletics. We have, um, we are NCAA Division II in Daytona Beach, NAIA Division II in Prescott. I will say that we do not have a football team here at Embry-Riddle. Um, and instead of a football team, we do have a competitive flight team. So that is something to keep in mind. Study abroad opportunities are plenty. And so students can choose to study abroad within their degree program, like OLA Engineering, where you get to study engineering in Spain, um, or you can just do it for culture. We do have every branch of ROTC here at the um, Daytona Beach campus. And then we also have Army and Air Force, um, just Army and Air Force at the Prescott, Arizona campus. And then Greek life opportunities, we have about 13 and for or 13 to 14 fraternities and sororities that you could be a part of. This is just a list of our notable programs here at the university. Aeronautical science is our professional pilot program, aerospace engineering um, for students who wanna work in aeronautics, astronautics, or jet or rocket propulsion, astronomy and astrophysics, those forensic programs, and that first and only aerospace physiology. This is just a list of our degree programs, just to give you a good glimpse um, between the three campuses, everything from, um, like I said, that flight program, all the way to our drone program, project management, forensic accounting and fraud examination. So now I'm sure everyone wants to apply to Embry-Riddle and you wanna know that process. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. You go to eru.edu slash apply and I'll put this in the chat. You use code DBPC to waive the application fee, and then you submit your high school transcript. We are a test optional university and have been for about 20, uh, for about five years now, not 25, I'm so sorry. So it is a yes or no question on whether or not you'll submit your test scores. You can also submit two letters of recommendation, an essay or a resume to round that out. And you can reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you. Sudin, thank you so much for presenting on Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University today and jumping in when we needed you. We're going to be traveling back now to Mayland Community College. Yep, we're getting started here. I think we have some of our difficulties figured out now. All right. Can you see our slideshow now? I can only see you at the moment, Frank. Okay. Let's see here. Let's work on the display settings. Let's swap the presenter view. Is it still showing the same to uh, my mine instead of the PowerPoint? No, we're only seeing you at the moment. We're not seeing anything here. All right, let's go ahead and start with it. And I'll go ahead and talk okay. over that, if that's okay. Um, my name is Frank O'Hagan, and it's my pleasure to speak to you this afternoon about Mainland Community College. Uh, we are located in Spruce Pond, North Carolina, and we serve the three counties of Mitchell, Avery, and Yancey in beautiful Western North Carolina. We offer uh, several different programs. Uh, we specialize in at Mainland. Um, programs in arts and sciences, career technologies, health sciences, and workforce development. 
The Department of Arts and Sciences houses our transfer programs. The transfer programs are designed for mainly community college students who plan to take courses at the community college and transfer later to a four-year college or university for completion of their bachelor's degree. The Associate in Arts de uh, degree is a 60-hour credit program. Ge it's a general education program. And this program is most commonly used for students planning to transfer. The Associate in Science degree is a 60-credit hour general education program as well, but it is geared towards students pursuing a career in a STEM-based field. This program requires more math um, and science courses for completion. Mainland Community College participates in the state's comprehensive articulation agreement, which governs the transfer of credits between North Carolina uh, community colleges and North Carolina public universities. The CAA provides a smooth transfer for students and enables them to transfer in with a junior status. Our Career Technologies program, um, the Department of Career Technologies offers two-year programs in technical hands-on and service areas, such as business administration, computer engineering, electronics engineering, information technology, uh, applied engineering, as well as welding. Now, if you gravitate towards working with people uh, and working dealing with the public, we have programs such as criminal justice, human services, as well as cosmetology. In our health sciences program, um, uh, we offer, we've seen that the healthcare industry is, has been front and center in, during 2020. And if you'd like to pursue a career in this all important and growing field, uh, you have opportunities to do that here at Mayland with our medical assisting program that leads to a certified medical assistant. Uh, we also have a brand new emergency medical services program where we have a state-of-the-art ambulance simulator for students to use to complete the program. Uh, with our health sciences program, it's probably the most common program to come to mind when you think of healthcare. What is not common though is Bayland's extraordinary nursing program at, at Bayland. You can expect a small class size and high quality hands-on learning in our state-of-the-art simulation labs. We have a 100% pass rate. Uh, um, on student licensing for the exam for our nursing. Um, we also offer our workforce development and continuing education programs. Sometimes you want or need a quicker path to entering the workforce. Workforce development and continuing education allow students to pursue short-term credentialing programs so you can get to work faster. Programs vary in length, most averaging around 16 weeks to completion. Enter into the, our healthcare field with pharmacy technician, phlebotomy, or physical therapy aid. You can also use your hands in our small engine repair or plumbing programs, or you can sell your way to success with our real estate certification. So uh, there are many opportunities to train for a new career quicker than you ever thought possible. Um, with our student services department, our mission is to enhance the personal and professional development of students and to provide an environment that is supportive and inclusive. We work with you from the moment you decide you're considering Malin to the moment you walk across the stage at your commencement ceremony. Student Services is your one-stop shop for all things related to Malin Community College. Um, with our financial aid program, we know this is an important um, uh, subject for both students and their families. So we take that very seriously as well. And we have many programs that, are, that can help you make your investment into your education easier, such as our federal and state grants and scholarships veterans benefits, in-house and private scholarships, federal work study program, and NC child care assistance program. Uh, with Malin, on average, we have uh, awarded and dispersed over $1.7 million over the past three academic years. Um, with in-state tuition and fees for 12 credit hours, we our costs are range from about $976 to about uh, $1,069, depending on your program of study. Uh, major, a majority of our financial aid recipients are able to receive enough financial aid to cover the cost of their tuition fees, books, and supplies, with some money left over to cover personal expenses during the semester. We are also more than a classroom. We, off, we, are, we have um, heard, um, you've heard a lot of, about our program services that we offer at Mayland Community College, but we are more than just a classroom. We have another number of uh, projects that we're working on right now, such as the Three Peaks Enrichment Center, which is located in downtown Spruce Pine, and will be the first phase will be completed this year. 
that will include our new location for cosmetology. We also will uh, offer the Blue Ridge Boutique, which will be slated to open this year as well. And the boutique will be a, a hotel type experience offering employment opportunities for students. We also are have the Earth to Sky Park. It's a visitor center, conference center. Uh, it also offers garden trails and more. Uh, this is, uh, we'll be planning on opening this year a 60 seat planetarium with a 36 foot projection dome for students to use. And this will be open not just for students, but school children, local residents and visitors as well. In the Bear Dark Sky Observatory, it has been designated an International Dark Sky Site and has the SAM scope, which is a 34 inch telescope, which is the largest telescope in the Southeast that is available for public use. The public can book viewing nights to experience the night sky as they never have before, and trained guides will help you find planets, stars, constellations while stargazing at the perfect mountaintop site. Mainly, can you do that? We're coming up to your six minute mark. Okay. Uh, Mainland Community College is more than just your local community college. We strive to offer you the absolute best in education and opportunity. Individuals, individualized service and ex excellence in all areas are our goals. We go beyond the classroom to offer you experiences that will enrich your life. At Mainland Community College, community is just the beginning. Uh, please, uh, ask, if you have any questions, add them into the chat feature, or you can email us at admissions at mainland.edu. Great, and make sure, thank you too, Frank, to put your contact information in that chat. So just a reminder, we still have that Q&A box open. Love getting questions, so please throw them in there. And we're gonna move on to our next school, which will be um, Wilkes Community College. All right, good evening, everyone. I'm excited to share a little bit about Wilkes Community College with you all. So going ahead and getting started, we are a public two-year school and we have open door admission. Now what that means is if you apply, you will be accept accepted. You simply complete an admission application and then admissions representative will reach out to you and walk you through the entire enrollment process. We have approximately 2,500 curriculum students with another 3,600 in our workforce development division. We have three different campuses located in, of course, Wilkes County and then two other um, close counties. But again, we do offer online programs and we are an accredited community college. So a little bit about the types of degrees that we have. We have college transfer degrees where you can come and get the first two years of a four-year bachelor's degree with us. And that would be either associate in arts, associate in science, or associate in engineering. And then we also have degrees that will prepare you for the, uh, the workforce. You can go straight looking for a job after two years. And those are called associate and applied science degrees. Right there, you will see wilkcc.edu. That is our website where you can find all of this information as well. So let's talk more about those uh, transfer degrees. So there is something called a comprehensive articulation agreement. This facilitates a transfer of credits between North Carolina community colleges and the North Carolina University system. So it only applies to those three transfer degrees, but keep in mind, it does not guarantee admission. You would still need to apply to the university you want to go to, and you still have to be accepted depending on their admission criteria. Um, but it does offer the opportunity for you to transfer as a junior. So you'd get your general education requirements knocked out with us and then transfer to the university and be considered a, a college junior. Associate in Arts, an example of some majors you would, you would do when you get to the university would be business, criminal justice, psychology, social work, um, education. For Associate in Science, you could go on to a university and major in biology or chemistry, meteorology, any other type of science. And then for engineering, of course, you would transfer um, to an engineering school. More about the two-year degrees that we have. So these are just some examples of those degrees we have in our business and public services technology division, accounting, graphic design, culinary, baking and pastry, business, information technology, early childhood, and criminal justice. These are our health programs. We have a nursing program, dental assisting, EMS, human services, medical assisting, radiography, and respiratory therapy. Now, the ones with a star listed beside of them, that means they are a limited admission program. So you would need to see an admissions representative. You can reach out to myself and I can answer any questions you have about what that criteria may be. This division is known as our Applied Career Technologies Division. Again, some examples of those programs, agribusiness, animal science, applied engineering, architecture technology, automotive, 
diesel, collision repair, building construction, horticulture, and welding. Workforce development. So these programs are for those that don't want to go for two years. That's, you know, that's totally fine. We have a lot of options for everyone, depending on what they're wanting. So um, HVAC technician that, for example, you can work with heating and air. That's a two semester program. Um, some of these are even a semester. We offer classes at night. So if someone wants to work a full time job and, and still go to school, we have options too. So again, just reach out. Chances are we have something for everybody. Again, we do have two plus programs where we have agreements with certain pre-approved institutions. So keep this in mind. I recommend this for folks that know exactly what they wanna do and what university they wanna do that at. This is a little bit about our tuition and fees. So an in-state North Carolina student, you're looking at about $1,200 a semester. Um, you know, it's a great option if you want to save some money. If you are an in-state student, it's about a fourth of the cost of going to a, a public university right off the bat. We do have financial aid available. So grants, scholarship, work study, veterans benefits. Um, I do encourage you to fill out the FAFSA like everyone else has encouraged you to do here tonight. Um, but just again, questions, chances are we've got something that can help you out. I'm gonna skip over this for the sake of time. But um, again, if you have any questions, my name is Morgan Staley. I'm the coordinator of recruiting at Wilkes Community College. I will put my contact information in the chat and just let me know if you have any questions at all. Thank you. And thank you so much for presenting and sharing Wilkes Community College with us tonight. All right, we're going to go to our sixth school. Next, we'll be hearing from Appalachian State University. Hello, thank you all so much for being here today. My name is David Stevenson. I serve as one of the assistant directors of admissions here at App State. Um, so thank you so much for being here today. Um, App State is nestled right in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Boone, North Carolina. Boone offers students the opportunity to have a down-home intimacy and really get to enjoy the outdoors. So you'll find there's so many opportunities for adventure and so many chances to just to get to enjoy um, fellowship with your colleagues and with your friends. You'll find that we are very close to some majoring cities in North Carolina. Uh, so we're not that far from Charlotte, Greensboro, or uh, Winston-Salem. And so you'll find that adventure is not that far. But because life on the mountain is so awesome, you won't want to leave. Students can actually take snowboarding or skiing for PE credit. There's also kayaking, canoeing, and hiking. So many opportunities to have outdoor time um, and really get to enjoy the mountains. There are over, we have over 18,061 um, students, and as well as 90% um, of our students are from in state. So we are one of the largest UNC system schools. So you'll find that 18% of our students are from racially and ethnically underrepresented groups, 34% are first generation students. And so that brings our total campus population, including our graduate program, our English as a second language program, and our undergraduate students to a total 20,000 students. So we definitely are a large school. However, it does not feel like it is that big of a school. There is still the opportunity to be individualized by having um, relationships with your professors and getting to really get to enjoy um, fellowship with your students and really get to build relationships. Diversity and inclusion is a really huge thing for us here at App State. So we are making commitments to make sure that all of our students feel welcome and know that they have a place here on campus. Um, one way that we are doing that is that we do have seven of the nine divine, nine historically African-American based sororities and fraternities on our campus. And so this area is actually a sacred area, sacred area for those students. Uh, we also have CSAP, which is a body of students that are committed to working with our chancellor um, to make sure that we are having conversations at all times about diversity and about um, moving forward and continuing to be a um, place for all students. There's also the opportunity to get involved in leadership as early as your first year here at App State. Um, so you can involve clubs, join student government, or become president of clubs, even start a club and be president of that club. So leadership opportunities are available as early as your first year. We have over 150 different programs um, for students to be a part of. So we were actually founded at the Teachers College. However, we are selling in other areas. We still very much hold true to our Teachers College values 
we are, like I said, excelling in other areas like our health sciences. Um, students are going on to become amazing nurses and other healthcare professionals, as well as the College of Business um, is working for students to become better businessmen and businesswomen. And so also there is the School of Fine Arts, uh, which students are able to be a part of um, building sciences or um, just getting to just really get to enjoy the arts and become better um, theater people and better uh, musicians. We have a 16 to 1 average student teacher faculty ratio. Uh, so you'll find that class sizes are very small. Um, there is, you will have some class sizes that are a little bit larger than 28 students. So, for example, like your English 1103s or um, your general math courses, those courses may be slightly larger and so that we can assist all of our students. But our class sizes and our um, faculty staff student ratio. Um, so the apps is really committed to maintaining our small campus feel, um, even in our classrooms. We offer so many different scholarships for students. Um, so the honors college is a really great way to excel and to um, have a more rigorous academic experience. Um, students can also join the Watauga Residential College, as well as the Appalachian Community of Education Scholars. Um, so these both give scholarship opportunities and they are RLC. So students do live, learn, do life together. And we offer over um, 20 different RLCs that students can be a part of and really get to have community and really find um, their group and feel included. Study abroad, students go to over um, 60 different countries a year. And so students have the opportunity to really get to be involved and really get a chance to um, experience the world from different cultures. And so even if you don't think you're gonna qualify for scholarships, or if you don't think you can afford to travel abroad, um, I definitely recommend still seeking those opportunities out because we definitely do have scholarships and opportunities. Students can do undergrads or research early their first year as well. And so we do have a lot of students that will do environmental sciences research and really get to enjoy the, uh, the environment by having it right in our backyard. There are over 400 plus clubs and organizations here at App State. Um, we offer 150 community focused clubs. There are over 80 intramural sports. There are sororities and fraternities, as well as there is multicultural and international clubs as well. Participating in all these clubs and being a part of all these opportunities come at no additional cost to you. Um, students can uh, be a part of this and get to really enjoy and really have um, inclusiveness and really feel like they're part of something bigger than themselves. There are many resources for our students. Um, so through our learning center for if you need tutoring, um, through our health services, we actually have a small clinic on our campus. So if you have, we have a pharmacy on our campus. Um, also, our Career and Development Center is really working to make students successful and really enhance their professional capital and make them marketable um, to employers. And there's so many other opportunities, too. So if you are interested in um, entrepreneurship, there is an opportunity for that as well. And we are a D1 division. Even we're coming up on your sixth of the end of your time. I want to make sure you get that contact information out and share any of that and get that contact for the students and attendees yet. Perfect. Um, so also attendance is here, take a picture of that, um, as well as, and if you're interested in applying, our application will open up on October, sorry, on August the 1st. And so there is our application fee. So you guys are amazing. And I will share my contact information in the chat. Awesome, thank you so much. All right, everyone, we have heard from six great schools today, and we are coming to the end of our time together. I do want to make sure, though, our attendees are checking that chat. All of our representatives have put in great contact information and links to make sure that after today, that when your curiosity has been piqued, because these are fast six minutes. So we want to make sure that you are getting that info so you can follow up, ask questions, and begin to personalize your experience even more. So first, I want to say thank you to all of our representatives. Um, actually, while we're doing this closing, if y'all want to come back on camera anyway, so I'm not closing it out alone, um, I'd love to see all your faces back here. Um, just to say thank you for being here, for sharing great information about each of your schools that I hope um, piques the curiosity of everyone who's attended. You were not only sharing the logistics and those details, those facts and figures, but just the passion and excitement you have for your students' experiences in and out of the classroom. 
For everyone who's attending, hope that you've had enough time now to grab all that information from the chat and you will reach out. These admission counselors and their colleagues are your number one resource. They're here for you and your families. Ask them all the questions. They love that. They want to personalize it. So reach out and learn more, uh, especially if there's a school here that maybe you didn't know much about before today, but maybe we've opened that door for you to find that new place to call home when you go off to college. Um, now, for those logistics, when you close your window, there's going to be a link to a very quick four-question survey. We would appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Four questions, it's super fast. Um, also, again, this is just one of many sessions that are being hosted for North Carolina and South Carolina students. We hope that you will sign up for additional sessions. And remember, in about a week's time, you can find this session's recording to watch again or any other session recordings from all of the other programming for Carolina's students at the same website where you register, strivescan.com slash Carolinas. So thanks again, everyone, for taking the time out of your day to be here and best wishes in your college search and decision journey. Have a great night, everybody.